Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, while you're done, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today we're doing a Q&A. <laughs> Now, I've been collecting questions on Instagram and on YouTube, so this ought to be fun. First one is from Serenity. If you don't know who Serenity is, this is Serenity. Serenity is a friend, and if you've watched this channel long enough, an ex. Are you caught up on Doctor Who? No, I am not. <laughs> I'm waiting for it all to be out so I can binge watch it. Next question is, have you ever been on the Spirido? Yes. While I was in hospital, it didn't react well, it made me throw up a lot, and I couldn't sleep. <laughs> Favourite colour? Pink! Pink, 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 pink. Some of my fairy lights are on pink. Because I like pink. My chair's pink. What's your favourite film and song? So, my favourite song currently is Eye of the Untold Her by Lindsay Sterling. I love it. It's Amazing. My favourite movie is Shawshank Redemption. I fucking love that movie. It's so well made. How's the job going with applying to be a police officer? Oh shit, I need to email them my qualification. Thank you for reminding me. It's going okay, I passed the first assessment. So, that's good. Just gotta pass the rest of it. I need to show my qualifications and work experience. The only problem is, is that asking for 18 months work experience, I have like two months experience. <laughs> because I only worked in the Immigration Detention Centre for two months before I quit. And yeah, there's a slight issue there of I quit because I kept getting assaulted. One of them chips my tooth. I got punched in the face, spat on, water thrown over me, kicked, floored, punched in the back, which did not help my back. Learn, lesson learned, don't work in an immigration detention centre. Have you ever tried palipridone? No. Are you on PIP? Yes, yes I am. I get both, I get the full amount on both. The physical health one is mainly because, the, the mobility one is mainly because of my arthritis and torn tendon. My mobility is not that great. I use a cane to get everywhere. And yes, I ice skate, but it's not without pain. So I take pain meds to go ice skating. And the amount of times my knee is giving way on me on ice is ridiculous. I need to chase up the physiotherapy. They're supposed to contact me in January. But yeah, I, I get the full amount on bone. So yeah, there's that. Please no hate. <laughs> How do you manage uh, manage anxiety out in public? Fidget toys, headphones, sitting away from people. My medication helps a lot as well. Um, I take an Alzapam twice a day for my anxiety. I don't tend to go out before I've had my Alzapam. Next question is, does it get easier recovery for self-harm? Yes. I am 16 months free from self-harm. And honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. My scars are covered, mostly. There are two scars that aren't covered, but that I can't tattoo over because it's too close to the tattoos I've already got. Which sucks. What's your opinion? And also on like how people try to understand mental health. Now all my social medias are mental health based. The only one that's not is my Facebook. And my family, well my grandparents are very understanding of my mental health. They've googled what to look out for and googled how to care for someone who has mental health conditions. Like, they, they understand what I'm going through. I find some people can be ignorant. I get a lot of comments that are ignorant and I just delete them. But on the whole I find people are genuinely trying to be as supportive as they can be. What's your opinion on the police dealing with mental health crisis now? 
I've been on many 136s. If you don't know what 136s is, 136 is a mental health hold, holding power that the police have for 24 hours renewable by 7 hours. 12 hours, sorry. But all in all, if the time elapses and you walk out, they just follow you and then you're on another 136. So, it doesn't really make a difference. But how, how do you deal with crisis? It, it depends on the officer. I've had some officers that have literally got my stuffed unicorn for me out of the bedroom when they've sectioned me in the hallway. When I was alone in the hat flat with Becca and the police turned up, I used to open the door and leg it back into the flat because they can't 136 you in your own property. But there was two occasions where I didn't make it there and they floored me. But when they got me my stuffed unicorn, I was quite calm because my lav my unicorn is filled with lavender. And if you want to see a picture of me and my unicorn, here it is. My unicorn is my comfort animal and I take it everywhere with me. It's been to every hospital admission I've ever had. It comes to appointments with me. It went to uni with me. I literally take it everywhere with me. So I'm never without my unicorn. But yeah, police and crisis, it, it depends on the officer. Some have been lovely, some have been horrible. I got put in leg restraints to stop me head banging. They didn't work, but they tried. Now we're on to the YouTube comment. We've got, what would your dream job be and why? And what do you do in a normal week? Do you have a set routine? So, no I don't have a set routine. I wake up at about half nine every day to take my meds. It's the latest I can get up. I, I tried getting up a quarter to ten, but self just come and get me before then. So, yeah. I don't really have a routine. I tend to just go with the flow. <laughs> my dream job is to be an editor for films or TV series. That's my dream goal, but I'm also applying to be a police officer at the minute, which I think is a pretty cool job. Next question. Do you see random vivid images in your mind eyes, especially when you shoot your eyes? Yes. What's your favourite book? It's this. It's a poetry book. But I love it. Movie, Shawshank Redemption, as I said earlier. TV show. Probably Orange is the New Black. Next is from Stella. Do you like it where you live? I do, because I, I live in central London. So the location is great. I don't like having to go and ask someone to give me my medication. I wish I could be in control of my own medication. And the welfare checks, they piss me off. But for supported living, it's, it's pretty good. And that is all the questions that I've got time for today. Thank you for watching, and if you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on, and give me a thumbs up if you're, you want more of these. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.